So recently I posted a photo of my scent of the day on Instagram wearing absolute pour le soir from the house of Maison Francis Kirchen. And so many people stopped by to comment and they asked me how similar or how different is absolute pour le soir compared to grand soir, this one right here. They're very different and I'm going to tell you the differences and the similarities when you come back. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time tuning into the channel and you love watching fragrance reviews, finding out about new fragrances, discovering new brands, and of course participating in giveaways and still haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So, Maison Francis Christian's Absolute Pour Le Soir is a boutique exclusive. Um, I believe you can also buy it from their website and have it shipped worldwide, but no stores like Neiman Marcus who sells Maison Francis Kirchner sells this uh, locally. They used to. When I first got into uh, sampling the house of Maison Francis Kirchner, they had bottles at our Neiman Marcus here in San Francisco. But probably about two, three years ago, when Grand Soir came out, they had removed this fragrance and made it a boutique exclusive. Um, so what are the differences? But before we do answer the differences, um, let me tell you a little bit about these. This is a 2010 release. Came out about four years after the brand was launched, three, four years after the brand launched. And it's an amber, and absolute pour le soir basically means absolute for the evening. And so this is um, 2010, honey, benzoin, incense, sandalwood, rose, ylang ylang, atlas cedar, cumin are the notes in here. So fast forward six years and Grand Soir came out in 2016 along with Petit Matin and Grand Soir means big night and uh, this one has amber, benzoin, vanilla, tonka beans, labdanum. Um, they're both ambers first of all that's the easiest thing uh, to say about these two or to compare them uh, they're both ambers but they're very very different ambers to me they're night and day difference but basically they're ambers in different directions both from the house I think this was actually not very popular this is a very popular fragrance from the Maison Francis Kirchner house. And since it's not very popular, it is now not shelved and not permanently shelved. It's only available at the boutique. So I brought this back with me from Paris uh, when I was there in April. Uh, April it was May. Um, and I was so excited to have it because previous to that, I had only worn it as a decant um, and really, really loved it. Also on the channel, I have a comparison of this fragrance to um, Ambre Sultan from Serge Lutens and also Mitza because I find they have similarities whereas this one has more the musky touch, the animalic musky fuzzy warm fuzzy touch compared to the other two but I find that when you remove that you get pretty much that but when you remove uh, the muskiness from here I don't think you get Grand Soir, maybe you get it a little bit because it's an amber but I get more the spiciness here with the Ambre Sultan. But what are the differences? I think one of the big differences, compare uh, Absolute Pour Le Soir with Grand Soir, is that muskiness. I think this one has the, like a real musk in it, but it, unfortunately it's not credited as a note, but I pick up a very, very prominent musk note here, a very, very sexy musk, and um, it's really, really big. It's pretty much the whole amber fragrance experience. It's, you gotta love it. The other thing that's here also is the cumin. There's a big cumin, big dose of cumin here that Grand Soir does not. I find Grand Soir to be extremely beautiful, but non-challenging uh, to wear. It's still, it's still, uh, not a designer kind of a experience when you wear this one, but I find that if you, if you were to, you know, have somebody try these out, they'll probably go with Grand Soir over uh, Absolute Pour Le Soir because I find this one to be challenging um, because of the musky notes and um, it's almost bordering on Amalek. It doesn't go there, but I find that the musk in here smells like true deer musk, even though probably they're using uh, synthetic musks here. Now, the cumin and the musk gives it that kind of funky, sexy, animalic um, touch to it. And uh, that's what I find uh, the differences between the two. Now, there are some um, 
other differences here with Grand Soir that I don't find in here. With this one, I, I mean, first of all, I want to say this one also has honey, and I th I've heard and I've noticed that honey tends to go animalic sometimes. Um, there's like this little um, uh, animalic uh, undertones with honey fragrances that you pick up. Perhaps that's what's causing the um, the uh, animalic experience here. I'm not really sure, but both of them have benzoin, but this one has honey, this one does not have honey in the notes. Um, so maybe that's what's causing or triggering the um, animalic touches, but I feel like there's a really, really big, big dose of a musk in here that uh, makes or gives the fragrance its, its sexiness that um, I like about it. Um, the other thing is with this one, even though it's an amber, it's a full-on in-your-face amber, just gorgeous, gorgeous amber. Very, very easy to wear amber. Um, it's been one of my favorite fragrances for a long time. And this one I get under there. There's like a cacao dusting or chocolate syrup um, undertones with the Grand Soir. Uh, and it kind of like goes into a gourmand direction. I visualize or I picture the, the, the smell of this cacao in here, similar to the cacao dusting in Feb Delicious. I don't know how I get that, but there's a chocolatey touch in here that I don't get with Absolute Pearl Soir. So I think um, with this one, um, <clears throat> because of that um, chocolatey touch, I get a lot of gourmandy aspects to it. And I also find chocolate and things like that to be very uh, appreciative, like people really enjoy smells like that. Whereas um, with this, the musk and the cumin in here, uh, people tend to not really appreciate those. And unless you have a big experience with um, fragrances and you're starting to like develop a, a palette to appreciate uh, musks and cumins, uh, and um, that's uh, something that you might want to think about. If you've been doing this for a while, uh, you'll probably appreciate something like this. And if you've kind of gotten tired of this one, maybe it's time for you to upgrade or graduate to a little more funkier version of Grand because I believe um, France, uh, Francis Kirkjian um, wanted to recreate um, Absolute Pour Le Soir and he came up with Grand Soir. I think it was more of an, a universal fragrance, one that um, people would embrace rather than, you know, kind of like stay away from me. But this one is uh, absolutely gorgeous. It's, it's, it's so, so beautiful. If you're fra uh, into fragrances like Musk Ravageur, you'll appreciate this one because the muskiness reminds me of the musk ravageur musk and uh, the musk I get in here is almost like a very warm and fuzzy kind of like a uh, uh, kind of musk and um, I get that with uh, uh, musk ravageur as well but musk ravageur I tend to think goes a little more um, gourmand uh, it has cinnamon and cloves lots of spices in there and even though this has a lot of spices I feel like this one doesn't have the cinnamon clove spices and it's not like a spice rack come alive uh, it's it's spicy in a different direction with the uh, the cumin and um, a few other like um, I, I guess the incense in here can also be considered a bit of a uh, uh, spice even though it's not a spice it's giving the fragrance a, a, a spice edge to it now when I had sampled this for the first time dating back to about 2013 I had already experienced uh, Dior's Mitza and again I do have a video comparing this to Mitza and also Ombre Sultan from Serge Lutens. I find them to have like a similar backbone and the fragrances even though they go in different directions when you strip strip away some of the notes you kind of get pretty much the same fragrance. I felt like this was really close to Mitza and then of course uh, Serge Lutens Ombre Sultan comes after. Now when you compare this to uh, Mitza from uh, from Dior, it's still the Dior is not animalic, but this one has that honey note along with the Mitza. So I think that Mitza honey, even though the Mitza doesn't go animalic, the some of the notes in here, like the incense, also exist in uh, Mitza, kind of gives me a similar vibe. So when I had sa I already sampled Mitza and I sampled this, I go, wow, this is very very close to um, Mitza, except the fact that it has this like musky undertone to the fragrance. So I never bought that at that time and by the time I got around to wanting to buy a bottle 
this had come out um, and uh, this one had been removed. Finally I have this one and I really really enjoy it. Um, it's just very very sexy. It's perfect for fall weather. It's perfect for cold weather and the muskiness just clings on and stays on with you for a long long time. Uh, I don't want to say this is the best release from this house but if you're into um, something a little more out there a little more funky a little more musky i guess this one uh would be probably but if you're not into those kind of fragrances and you want to st stick to the regular you know uh the more popular amber this is definitely still good i really do enjoy this one i love the smell of it it's very very cozy it does go into a um gourmand direction as i said and that gives me like a comforting vibe um it's probably um, one of my favorite ambers it's a top five for sure it was probably number one for a while, but you know, tastes change and I, I kind of start falling in love with another one and falling out of love with um, some fragrances that I've been loving, um, similar to music or movies, uh, mostly music. Um, I listen to music over and over again and I really love something and then I get bored of it. So similar to fragrances, I wear, wear, wear something, then I get bored of it, I have to discover something else. So tastes do change. Um, I still think this is a great fragrance, but currently I'm really, really enjoying Absolute Pearl from France, Maison Francis Kirchen. Now, as I said, this is only sold at the, their boutiques. They have two boutiques now in Paris. When I first started discovering this fragrance, they only had one on the Rue Saint Alger, I think, um, and right off the Rue Saint Honoré. And I hear that they have a new boutique in the Marais. Um, so they have two boutiques, um, and uh, that you can get it there. But I believe they do. You can order it off of uh, their website, or you can even give them a call. I've ordered fragrances from them just by calling them and um, they do ship they're very quick shipping and uh, the the people behind the brand are very very nice I've met many of them throughout my visits to Paris and um, a great brand so check it out check out absolute pour le soir if you like musky fragrances if you like cumin this is it for you it's it's quite phenomenal and also if you're bored of this one and you want to graduate to something a little more in, different a little more unique uh, different direction, you know, the muskiness and the cumin and all that good stuff, go with this one. Or if you think you cannot tolerate the muskiness and the cumin with this, then definitely stick with this one because this is still very, very good. That's Grand Soir. That's Absolute Pour Le Soir, and that's my video for you today. Let me know your thoughts on these two fragrances, guys. Are you familiar with uh, Maison Francis Kirchen? Do you like Grand Soir? Have you tried Absolute Pour Le Soir? Let me know. Put some comments down below. Also, let me know. Do you enjoy musky fragrances? Do you like the cumin note or are you a little not so adventurous with your fragrances and you prefer a little more conventional like this one anyway i still think this is a great great fragrance um if you're only used to designer fragrances and you've sampled this it's probably going to be wow amazing uh, and then if you're at the point of graduating from this definitely check this one out i think you're gonna be pleasantly surprised at how great this is anyway thanks so much for watching today please like this video please share it. follow me on facebook twitter and instagram and i'll be back with more videos very soon have a good one goodbye